Good evening, welcome to Newswatch 12 Weekends. I'm Rachel Eiler. Happy Mother's Day from all of us here at Newswatch 12. Today's a special time to show your appreciation for your mom and maybe do an activity or two together. And with the pandemic halting families from seeing each other last year, this year is looking a little bit different. Rockies Roadhouse and Rylander held a Mother's Day paint and pot event. Mothers and their kids were able to get outside together, decorate some terracotta planting pots. And after they finished painting, they were even able to plant a flower. I was going to do a painting canvas event last year and then COVID obviously happened. So I figure we would make it an outdoor event this year. For mother Alexis Browning, this is her first Mother's Day to celebrate with her one year old, saying it was the first of many Mother's Day memories for each of them. And I thought it'd be pretty cool to get Journey out here to come out and paint me a pot. First time she's ever painted, she had a great time and I'm happy to have something that was made by my daughter. Mothers and daughters of all ages were in attendance. Bettinger says she plans to host more outdoor events throughout the spring and summer season. And sometimes the hardest part of being a mom is seeing your child go through pain. And for UW health nurse and mother Nicole Wayman, that was the case when her daughter Aubrey became a cancer patient in her mother's unit. Back in 2018, 13-year-old Aubrey was diagnosed with T-cell non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Her mom Nicole has been by her side the whole entire time, even shaving her head in solidarity when her daughter lost her hair during treatment. She says although she's worked the pediatric cancer unit for almost eight years, she gained a new perspective. I mean, I was her mom, but I was her nurse. I made sure she got what she needed. Um, I advocated fiercely for her. Um, and now, when I'm going into a room, that's exactly what I'm going to do for that family. I n feel like I can anticipate maybe what m that mom needs. She adds that the experience has only made her a better mom and nurse. Aubrey did finish her last round of chemo back in December and is now in remission. And of course, we have to honor our own mothers. Many of us here at Newswatch 12 could not be with our moms today, so we want to send them a little extra love. Take a look. Each of these beautiful women, they are just truly amazing. They are the moms of Newswatch 12, we can call them. All these ladies have been so supportive of us and our dreams, even if they're, that means their kids live hundreds to thousands miles away. So to Karen Eiler, Joan Kikafer, Lauren Mamlock, and Jane Stroin, happy Mother's Day. We love you. We miss you. And we couldn't ask for more amazing mothers. And Andrew, a nice day for mothers all around the Northwoods, but still a couple of cold temps coming our way until it warms up. That's right, Rachel. Another couple cool days to come. And today uh, is going to be kind of what we'll see for the next couple of days, a mix of sun and clouds. So looking outside now to the skies, uh, we did have a couple of light sprinkles today. But overall, we did see more sun than clouds today. And now we have clearing skies, taking a closer look here in Rhinelander. Clear skies uh, for the most part with those temperatures in the upper 30s right now, getting even colder below freezing for the overnight period. Over in Stevens Point, we're still holding on to the 40s, but we're going to be getting cool there too. There is a light northeast breeze coming in tonight at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now, a few minutes ago, I did talk about a freeze warning and frost advisory. So we are seeing this yet again tonight. Uh, that'll go for the overnight period. We could be having a few more of these before those overnight temperatures uh, start to warm on up. But for now, looking hour by hour at the rest of your night, we have low temperatures getting to the mid to upper 20s under mostly clear skies. And then we'll be back in the 50s on your Monday. Rachel. Thank you, Andrew. The Marathon County Sheriff's Department says a motorcyclist has died following a crash on Saturday night. Police say they were dispatched to the scene on Highway 135, 153, excuse me, west of County Road Y after 9 p.m. They add that the preliminary investigation indicates the motorcyclist was hit by a pickup truck driving in the opposite direction. It was he was then flown to the hospital, but later died of injuries sustained in the crash. The driver of the truck sustained minor injuries. The passenger in the truck was also also unharmed. Police are not identifying the deceased while next of kin is notified. A Rhinelander woman was arrested for an OWI today. 32-year-old Melissa Paget was allegedly operating a vehicle under the influence, according to a press release by the Wisconsin Department of Transportation. She was driving with a child under the age of 16. A Wisconsin State Patrol trooper ended up stopping Paget for impeding traffic. He smelled marijuana odor and the driver admitted to smoking the substance, but reportedly did not show signs of impairment. She was arrested for operating a motor vehicle. First offense with a 
passenger under the age of 16. Animal rehabilitators say the, le the lead poisoning is becoming more common year-round when it comes to meat donations. According to the Northwoods Wildlife Center, popular activities such as hunting and fishing can lead to raptors being exposed to lead poisoning if precaution is not taken. During the hunting season, the use of lead bullets has been known to poison deer meat, and when consumed by a raptor, it can end up killing them. During the spring, it is a similar story for fish who are hunted using lead hooks. We have one eagle that was treated for lead, is now is in our eagle flight and has made it through that. We have one eagle that's currently in treatment for lead poisoning. Um, so we're definitely still seeing that on a regular basis um, in the very, very common um, in eagles. A major concern, however, is that people aren't exactly aware of how their meat was contaminated prior. Because we have a concern if I were to give the fish with that inside of it to our resident eagle, Hannah, she could possibly have issues coming in after that and we would really love to avoid that whenever possible. Those who may not be certain about how their donated meat and fish were handled prior, they should reach out to the rehabilitation center where they can test the meat to make sure it is safe before feeding it to a raptor. Warm bread and live piano music you don't find often but at one supper club in Woodruff it's the season for delighting its guests and it's just beginning. Reporter Megan Mamlock reports. A lot of our locals and regulars and stuff are glad to see us back open. It's another seasonal opener for supper clubs in the Northwoods. So it's nice to see the, the same faces again that we haven't seen in a couple months. Marty's Place North, managed by Andrea Caddy Teese and owned by her family, says reopening every year means welcoming back their family. We've had just generation upon generation of families that have come here, and it's just really neat to see these people grow up and get married and have kids, and they're, and they're still coming here. The diners come back every season for the atmosphere, the food, and that family feeling. Atmosphere, 100% atmosphere here. Great bartenders, a lot of fun, uh, the waitresses are great. Yeah, everything that follows is fabulous. As the pandemic mandates have relaxed, Andrea hopes business will be steady. You know, summertime up here is, is very short and it, it's, we just get inundated. And so it's like, hey, you're busy. Um, and then off season, not so much. And so you have, you know, you really rely on, on your locals to come out and support you. In Woodruff, Megan Mamlock, Newswatch 12. 2021 is still looking different even compared to the year of the pandemic with more vaccinated people feeling comfortable to gather, but more people also still hesitant to get that vaccine, meaning Biden's vaccination goal could be unrealistic. Plus, warm temps are on the way. Andrew Kafer is in next with your full forecast. We'll break it down after the break. When you're the victim of an accident, it can feel like the weight of the entire world is on your shoulders. Why not let us take that crippling burden off your back? Habish, Habish and Rotier. We fight for what's right. Keep your living spaces comfortable with the Denali Air Mini Split System from Menards. These units are an energy efficient, affordable option to zone cool and heat any room in your home. It's easy to install and effectively removes humidity. It also includes a remote so you can easily control the temperature. And it's a great time to buy with 11% off all Denali Air Mini Split Systems, right now at Menards. The Auto Show started with an idea. Honor the future of innovation while celebrating today with special Auto Show offers on select Ford vehicles. For generations, that's exactly what Ford has done and continues to do. Because when all is said and done, Auto Show is more than just an event. It's a step towards a better future. This auto show season, get 4,500 cash back on a 2020 Escape. Only at your Wisconsin and UP4 dealers. How many times have you searched the same thing? What to make for dinner, kid-friendly meals, easy party food. Stop searching and look no further than the Mr. Food Test Kitchen with new recipes every day on Newswatch 12 Today and Newswatch 12 at 6. The Test Kitchen has you covered for every meal, snack, and craving. Now, how many ways can you say, ooh, it's so good? Mr. Food Test Kitchen, brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath Studio and Golden Carrot Jewelers. 
Attention Medicare customers with diabetes. Now you can stop the painful pricking of your fingers with a continuous glucose monitor. And they're covered by Medicare if you qualify. Call right now for free information. Welcome back and happy Mother's Day, Mom, and to all the other moms out there watching tonight. Uh, today we had a pretty cool Mother's Day. Uh, keeping up with that temperature trend we have had with pretty cool below average temperatures. In fact, for the month of May, we've only had two days that were either at or above average, and that was 81 on May 1st, and then 70 in Rhinelander on May 2nd, and then it's been cool ever since. And with those high temperatures today, that is no exception here. So we had highs in the North Woods, making it to the 50s, Ironwood stuck at 48 in central Wisconsin. Some of us did get into the 60s as well, but I think we'll be seeing more of that widespread as we head on later in the week. But of course, we still have those a uh, couple cool days to get from here, and we do have a freeze warning and frost advisory in effect yet again for the region. So uh, you know by now what to do with the drill. Uh, you're covering those plants overnight if you haven't done so after the show, and then exposing those into the morning hours and uh, being ready for another one for the next couple of nights. And that is going to be keeping up with that trend of those those pretty chilly overnight lows since last week Wednesday those lows have been below freezing so a low of 29 27 23 22 last night and I think tonight we'll be getting down to a low of about 24 degrees and we'll have two more nights to go of those below freezing temperatures but then I think Wednesday night we'll be getting into more of the mid 30s and then we'll be seeing warmer temperatures and we should not be having those advisories towards the end of the week and now looking at your warm temperatures coming our way for the rest of the forecast period period. We have our Monday with a high of only 50. Tuesday, we're warming on up to the upper 50s. And then for the rest of the forecast period, we're going to be pretty steady in the low to mid 60s. So pretty seasonable for this time of year. Certainly not seeing any 80s or 70s, uh, but still pretty comfortable after being stuck in the 50s and 40s for so many days. Now taking to the skies for the overnight period. So today we had that mix of sun and clouds a little more on the sunny side today. And a few of us in central Wisconsin did have a couple uh, rain showers coming on down, though those were uh, pretty mild and scattered at that. So for the overnight period, we should be mostly dry outside of a couple additional sprinkles with mostly clear skies. And then getting into your Monday morning, we'll be kind of having that mix of sun and clouds again, and that will really be more cloud coverage developing in central Wisconsin into the morning hours. And note, we are staying dry still until the afternoon period. So here we go looking at 2 p.m., seeing a couple light sprinkles possible, and then into the rest of the afternoon, a couple more widespread rain showers uh, could be in through the area, but then we're going to be drying on out by the time that we hit dinner time. And then for the overnight period, again, a mostly clear night and then getting into your Tuesday, we'll be having mostly sunny skies with uninterrupted views of that for the majority of the day. And then another clear night uh, coming into your uh, Monday night. So now looking at the rest of your Sunday night, we do have uh, mostly clear skies and there will be frost yet again, low temperatures getting down to the mid twenties. There'll be a light northeast breeze coming in at five to 10 miles per hour and looking at your Monday. So we'll have that mix of sun and clouds, a couple sprinkles, there's a couple sprinkles possible towards central Wisconsin. And again, a light north breeze coming in at five to 10 miles per hour. And now looking at your Northwoods furniture and mattress seven day forecast outside of those couple sprinkles tomorrow, we are going to be entering kind of a dry period for the rest of the forecast until Friday. And then we'll have slight rain chances taking us through the weekend. Rachel. Thank you, Andrew. COVID-19 cases continue to decline this weekend here in the Badger State. According to the latest data from the Department of Health Services, 308 people tested positive for the virus within the last 24 hours. No new deaths were reported. That state total is going to go up, though, to 603,098 cases. Only 1.3%, however, are active. The seven-day average now stands at 553 daily cases. Last week, it averaged around 649. And as those cases go down, vaccination efforts are going up. Between the Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson vaccine, 4,695,483 doses have been administered. That's about 37.3% of Wisconsin residents now fully vaccinated, over 76% age 65 and older. Here in our north central region, 33.5% of residents completed the vaccine series, nearly 40% still waiting on that second dose. 
Tonight across America, families are reuniting for Mother's Day, a celebration very different than a year ago. But it comes as more and more people are refusing or reluctant to get vaccinated. States are giving back hundreds of thousands of unused shots and achieving the president's vaccination goal for this summer is now under question. NBC's Jennifer Johnson has more. A long awaited, more normal Mother's Day. Family members embracing so after being apart for so long. Oh, oh my God. It's so good to hug you. It comes as COVID-19 vaccinations dropped last week by 2 million a day. Concerned about reaching herd immunity, the Biden administration is now pushing the president's July 4th goal for a full economic and social reopening. If we get 70% of the people vaccinated by the 4th of July, namely one single dose, and even more thereafter, you may see blips, but if we handle them well, it is unlikely that you'll see the kind of surge that we saw in the late fall and the early winter. Across the country, several states are requesting the administration send only a fraction of their vaccine orders as vaccine hesitancy grows. Reaching Biden's goal remains an unknown. We're at 58 percent today, so we've got a path ahead of us, which will involve getting people even easier access to the vaccine, uh, people uh, making sure that people build their confidence. The Biden administration has embarked on a quarter billion dollar community program that includes using trusted messengers to encourage reluctant Americans to get the shots. It could be sports figures, it could be entertainment figures, it could be clergy, or it could be your family doctor. The next step is getting children vaccinated against COVID-19. This week, the FDA will likely approve the Pfizer vaccine for 12 to 15 year olds. Jennifer Johnson, NBC News, Washington. Baseball and Mother's Day go together like Thanksgiving and pumpkin pie. You can't have one without the other. I don't know, Griffin, what do you think about that uh, analogy there? Brewers had an exciting game for that. It was a great analogy. I mean, we had some <laughs> extra inning thrillers for the Brewers in Miami. Rachel will have those highlights coming up. Plus, somehow this is the final week of the NBA regular season. How are the Bucks looking this postseason? I'll let you know next. Don't you dare change that channel. You're a hard worker. Provide for your family. Do good things in the community. Help out your neighbors. You've been there for so many others. Now, we're here for you. Your local Wisconsin Energy and Emergency Assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your heat and power on. Apply now for a hand up. Everybody loves popcorn and puffs, so Newswatch 12 and Minocqua Popcorn and Puffs want to help you celebrate by sending tasty birthday treats. If you want your chance to win a gourmet bucket of popcorn for you or your loved one, make sure to submit your birthday club entry on our website, wjfw.com. One lucky viewer will win a free half-gallon bucket of Minocqua Popcorn. Attention homeowners, are you behind on your mortgage payments? Is the bank threatening to take your home? Is your home worth less than you owe? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then you need to call this number right now. We are the Mortgage Defense Line, and we can help you save your home. Through this TV offer, you can take advantage of special programs designed for people just like you. We've already helped thousands of people save their homes. It doesn't matter if you've been turned down before, we can help you too. Call right now for your free no-cost evaluation. It won't cost you anything to find out if we can help you. We are the Mortgage Defense Line, and we can help you save your home. Don't wait. Call right now. Call 1-800-970-8640. That's 1-800-970-8640. Again, 1-800-970-8640. That's 1-800-970-8640. Sports Watch 12 with Griffin Stroin starts now. First off, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Hope you enjoyed your day doing something that you enjoy. Moms should be able to do whatever they want on Mother's Day. And if they wanted to kick back, relax, and watch the Brewers, man, they got one heck of a ball game. The final match of this four-game series against the Miami Marlins. We're going to jump to the top of the fourth in this one. Game still tied at zero until this hit from Daniel Vogelbach. 
hits a liner into right field, and it just gets over the wall. His third home run of the year gives Milwaukee a one-run lead. Now, later on in the seventh, the Brewers still clinging on to that one-run lead until Lewis Brinson catches a hanging slider and crushes this one into center field. I mean, that was a meatball coming across the plate. Tied ball game, and it would go all the way to the ninth, so we're going to extra innings. In the 10th, Milwaukee's hero is Tyrone Taylor. A single into left field, the runner is going to score from second base, and the Brewers win a thriller on Mother's Day 2-1. to you're, you're, you're happy with the group of how we responded after um, you know, a tough little stretch and to finish this stretch in a positive way um, with a couple of good games and a lot of people doing good stuff. Um, is promising. Council also said that he expects some players to return to the team from the IL. The Brewers will have a day off tomorrow, but then host the Cardinals for a three-game series in Milwaukee next. It's hard to believe, but the NBA regular season is coming to an end. This will be the final week for the Bucks until the postseason, and right now they are in a heated battle for the second seed in the Eastern Conference. So these are the standings right now. The Nets have a half-game lead over uh, the uh, the Bucks after being Denver on Saturday. First seed's going to go to the 76ers. I mean, three games up and only a week left. I don't know how either team's going to do that. But what does this mean for Milwaukee? The seeding will affect who they play in the first round of the playoffs. As the third seed, they'd have to play the sixth seed, which right now is the Miami Heat. And let's remember, the Heat is the team that bounced the Bucks from the playoffs last year. And now after Milwaukee beat the Rockets on Friday, Milwaukee actually jumped all the way up to the second seed. But Giannis doesn't really seem to care. You guys are now the second seed in the Eastern Conference. Um, five we are? Left. You, are, you are second. We are uh, second. A five, second. Uh, five games left for you, five games left for the Nets. Um, kind of what does this, are you thinking about this going down the stretch? Obviously, well, uh, no. A, a pretty uh, emphatic uh, Greek freak right there. I mean, obviously, he does not care one bit, but he's got a point. Milwaukee was the one seed going into the last year's playoffs, and they lost in the second round. Would it be great for them to be the second seed? Sure. But the fact of the matter is, the seeding doesn't really matter. It does not matter. All, it, all that matters right now is building good habits and playing good basketball and guys are playing great, you know, and uh, at the end of the day, we got uh, five games left, get ourselves ready mentally, physically, and we are ready for uh, this journey that we're about to step in. The Bucks are hitting the road, heading southwest to take on the San Antonio Spurs. Tip-off for that game is tomorrow at 7.30. And then, hey, the Summer Olympics start here on Newswatch 12 in just over two months. And one NFL star threw his name in contention today. Seahawks wide receiver DK Metcalf competed and ran in the 100-meter dash race. He finished with a time of 10 seconds, uh, but that was not nearly good enough for this one. He came in 15th place out of 17, so we won't see him in Tokyo this summer. But you got to be excited for the Olympics, right, Rachel? Uh, of course, and we're looking forward to all that coverage up here on Newswatch 12. Coming up next, though, in the aftermath of a shooting incident at Wisconsin Casino last weekend, elders are working to heal their community. When we return, a look inside the ceremony and how they are moving forward. Stick with us. We'll be right back. Roofing season is here, and Bear Renovations is the Northwood's number one choice in roofing and rain gutter systems. Whether it's shingle roofing or metal roofing, big or small, the Bear does it all. Stop by our showroom just north of Tomahawk on County Road A, or call 715-966-6649 today. Remember, you can like us on Facebook, but you'll love us on your roof. Bear Renovations is locally owned and operated. Call the Bear. Hi, I'm Katie from Featherstone Cabinetry and Design. When I want the local forecast in Manaqua, I go to WJFW.com and check my hometown weather. Your hometown weather, available 24-7 at WJFW.com. Attention timeshare owners. This is an urgent consumer alert from the Timeshare Exit Hotline, a national company specializing in helping consumers legally get out of their expensive timeshare contracts. We're offering you a way to legally get rid of your timeshare. So if you're fed up with the maintenance fees that keep on coming and want to learn if you can terminate your timeshare legally and permanently, call today. Even if you've tried before and were unsuccessful in getting rid of your timeshare, call today and see if we can help. 
We offer a complete 100% unconditional client satisfaction guarantee. Make this completely free call and learn how we can help you legally put an end to your timeshare nightmare once and for all. You have nothing to lose, so call right now to qualify and receive a free consultation. You can terminate your timeshare legally and permanently, but you've got to call now. Call the number on your screen today. It's a free call. On December 7, 2005, I was deployed to Baghdad, Iraq. As I was searching for the bomb, the bad guy and the bomb found me first. After the explosion, I was left with a 1% chance of living. During my road to recovery, I had a tremendous amount of support from friends and families and the Coalition to Salute America's Heroes. The primary mission of the Coalition to Salute America's Heroes is to offer financial emergency assistance to veterans and their families. Visit saluteheroes.org to learn more. Tune in as Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller brings you the most up-to-the-minute weather data weeknights at 5, 6, and 10. WJFW utilizes industry-leading technology to provide you with an accurate Northwoods weather forecast. Welcome back to News Watch 12 Weekends. Last Saturday, three people, including the shooter, were killed and a fourth seriously injured when a gunman opened fire at the Oneida Casino in Wisconsin. One week later, elders of the Oneida tribe held a secret tobacco burning ceremony to honor the dead and help heal their community. Gabriela Primus reports. The upholster and her mother, Pat Peterson, came to the Oneida powwow grounds because they want to help the community heal. What has happened uh, there in this past week has been so tragic. And the Oneida Nation, they're a very peaceful, very peaceful people. We were all brothers and sisters. Yeah, we all are one people. We all should help and support each other. And I Oneida Nation Chairman Dahasi Hill says many people, like Polster, come to pray and help heal the community's spirits. During the tobacco burning ceremony, the cameras turned off to respect the nation's sacred words. He says old. the message told while cameras are off holds a strong meaning. Again, the words in the ceremony that were translated are very meaningful for our community, and so uh, for them to to hear and be reminded that um, that we're all here to help one another, uh, I think goes a long ways. During the ceremony, several eagles, including a bald eagle, flew overhead. Almost anticipated, I guess I should say. Um, it, it's very meaningful for us. Eagle is a very significant uh, animal in our, in our culture and that great vision uh, to notify the chiefs of any harm that might be coming so that we can uh, prepare and take action. Hill says it's uplifting to see so many community members at the ceremony. We just felt like we wanted to be part of it. Rick and Pam Smith were happy to be in the crowd. Yeah, I, I love that the community is invited to this and mm -hmm. try to learn as much about the Oneida tradition as we can and culture. Um, but I, I think I will feel uh, much better after leaving here today. I think it's a, a needed process. Yeah. Hill says the tobacco burning tradition moves away negative energy so the nation can really begin the healing process. When we return, a look at your final weather with Andrew Kiefer. That's coming up next right here on News Watch 12 Weekends. Summer is about having fun, not worrying about your old, outdated dock. Portadox corrosion-resistant roll-in or post-dock aluminum dock systems offer durability and longevity, as well as functionality with multiple configurations and decking options. Virtually maintenance-free Portadox systems will keep you in or on the water all summer long. Visit your local Portadox dealer and welcome to where the land ends and the summer fun begins. Devorax Docks, Highway 45 in Elko, Tomahawk Sports Center, North 4th Street in Tomahawk. At Lens Truck, we've made the buying experience fast and easy. All our trucks are guaranteed clean certified, can be bought hassle-free online, and can be delivered right to your door. It's our way of saying thanks to our past and future customers for the last 35 years. And when you buy a Lens Truck, know that you're buying the best used truck money can buy. Go now to LensTruck.com. You'll find over 800 used trucks, all priced to move. Go now to LensTruck.com. Lens Truck. Grease and grime build up in no time. Stop struggling and call the police. The Grease Police, the magic degreaser that cleans almost anything. Grease Police works on nearly all stubborn messes, even ones baked on for years. The secret's the super concentrated formula that emulsifies grease, dirt, and grime on contact. Even restaurant equipment is no match for the power of Grease Police. And it's biodegradable, so you can clean your barbecue grill inside and out. But Grease Police cleans so much more. Everything from scummy tile and grout to brake dust on 
rims. Even dried on spray paint comes right off. Call or click now to get a large bottle of concentrated grease police with money back guarantee for just $14.99. Order now and you can double it and get a second bottle. Just pay a separate fee. That's two large bottles of concentrated grease police with guarantee. Order now. Call 1-800-778-7906 or visit GetGreasePolice.com. So call 1-800-778-7906 now. Here's an important message from the Diabetes Solution Center. Diabetics understand all too well the pain of pricking your fingers. But now, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can immediately reduce your pain. It's easy to use and helps you make more accurate diabetes treatment decisions. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now. Well, Andrew, the last few nights that we've been leaving work, it's been quite cold. When are we getting these summer temps headed our way? They're on the way, Rachel, but we'll have to be patient. There's a couple more days of this uh, kind of cool trend coming our way. So that brings it yet again, this uh, freeze warning and frost advisory. Really no one escaping this thing tonight. And we'll be doing this again for the next couple of nights, most likely until we start to have some warming temperatures coming our way. So looking at those current temperatures now, quickly falling into the mid thirties in the north woods. We could get down another 10 degrees tonight. So looking towards central Wisconsin, still holding on to the forties, but we are going to be cool enough down there too, all around the region getting down towards freezing. So here we go looking at the rest of our night. We'll be under mostly clear skies, lows in the mid 20s with a light northeast breeze. And for a final look at your extended forecast, we have a few light sprinkles possible on Monday and then Tuesday through Thursday will be dry and then we'll have more light sprinkles coming through the weekend. So uh, Rachel looking at that Wednesday to have that high back in the 60s. I'll, I'll keep my fingers crossed. Looking forward to all those temperatures. For now, that's it for your news around the Northwoods. I'm Rachel Eiler, Peter and Sierra are in next.